All right, everybody, this is Austin, Best Thing in the 40 Antiques channel. Um, I got a box from my friend Susan. Susan has sold me her whole garage sale in the past. Um, she's, she's a pretty fun lady, and I like her a lot. And uh, she's got amazing uh, taste. She picks up the best stuff. I mean, really, really, really. So Susan sent me a box of 18, I think, Kutani pieces. Made in Kutani, Japan. Um, you can tell these pieces are Kutani. They've got the little house, okay? So that's the little Japanese house on the prairie. That's a Kutani mark. If you see that little house looking mark right there on the bottom, that's uh, usually a Kutani piece. So this is one of the seven Japanese gods. We've got a woodblock print with all these little fellows on it too. They're not all fellas. This is a Moriyagi decoration. You can see it's slightly raised enamel decoration. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can see little nubbins on there. So yeah, just beautifully hand decorated early 20th century pieces of ceramic. And uh, these are pretty sought after. I didn't buy them to flip them or anything. I bought them because I'm an obsessive Japanese art collector. These are a little more modern than anything I would typically buy, like for myself, but I mean to have the little to have the little fortunes in my house, that's worth it to me. So Susan, she got all these pieces and shipped them to me and uh, told me that I only needed to pay her the $54 she spent with shipping. Now <laughs> now I'm I'm a big fan of uh of getting deals and getting good prices and stuff, but I cannot abide Susan only getting $54 for the amazing things she sent me. This is the only god I'm familiar with, and even then I don't really know his name, but typically he's accompanied by a deer and a, um, and a crane, and he's got a big head and a staff, and, uh, he's like the, um, the god of longevity and other stuff, I just don't remember. So first things first, let's talk about this little tile Susan sent me. It's the only square tile, I, oh my goodness, bumped the boots off of the camera there. It's the only square tile I've ever seen. I mean, it's like a kitchen tile. Uh, uh, the only one I've ever seen in a Kutani style. You can see it's enameled very delicately and beautifully. I mean, this is quite a piece of art to put on a kitchen tile. You can see the enamel ra raised up in the um, in the glare there. That's why I like to do that, so you guys can see how much extra work they put into some of these details here. And it's got a very small impressed kiln mark on the bottom. I wonder how good we can get that. Probably about there, I'd say. And it says something in pencil on it, but I cannot read it. Just not sure. I don't know if it's additional information about the piece or, or what, but, you know, I don't really trust that. Okay. How about we just set him back there? We'll scooch this plate holder to the side, because I don't even know if that's uh, the right size to use for any of this stuff here. <clears throat> so these are Kutani, I'm going to call it eggshell porcelain. You can see that all those little flowers are enameled. Look at that beautiful decoration and painting. And then the extra work they put into enameling these pieces, I mean, it's wonderful. I absolutely love Kutani wares, Mount Fujiyama in the background, two cranes flying off towards it, and just the beautiful flowers, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm so... I'm so honored to own these things. You know, I buy these for myself. I don't, uh, I don't flip any of the Japanese stuff. I believe that'll just say made in Japan. Uh, I, it's a guess. It's a relatively educated guess, but I think that's what that'll say. Yeah, I can't even really see that. Okay. Looks great. 
so that's the main plate in that set. And then we've got these two additional plates that are a little bit smaller. But you can see the uh, same theme, basically. But the birds are all doing something different. Isn't that gorgeous? Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And you can see the size difference between those right there. Just ripping a piece of foam packing material here so that we can insulate these a bit. They won't be clanging against each other in this house, buddy. Yeah, not around here, partner. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on, camera. I know, I know. It's been a long day, you're tired. I'm just kidding, you got no reason for it. Look at these ducks. Oh my goodness. Look at their little webbed feet. Do you see how they're just like spider web orange painted? Oh my goodness. Is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that rim design. Oh my goodness. Look at how intricately that's painted. So if you're ever looking for high quality, um, you know, antique ceramics and stuff, Kutani wares from Japan are really like one of the top notch decorators in my opinion. I mean, pretty much ever. If you're into like birds and flowers and stuff like that, which I totally am. Oh, look at these guys. I wonder if those are hawks or... I'm not sure, but they are very cool. No, I think they'd have curved beaks if they were hawks. I think they would have certainly done that in their painting oh my goodness look at the flower colors purple pink yellow that's ridiculous oh my goodness is that gorgeous or what can you believe how amazing these are what a well done look at this look at this spot of blue here just a little bit of blue and gold there's like two or three 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 little corners that have that they're not even... Oh, it's all four. All four corners. Let me try and get this. Hands are a bit shaky to focus on like three millimeters worth of paint here, I guess. There it is. Oh my word. That was a struggle. I had to edit out like a big old chunk and still doesn't want to do it. What are you doing? Okay. Put another one right there. So this is a whole little set of plates. Beautifully painted with like a variety of different birds. Little tiny bit of wear to this one on the corner, but goodness gravy, look at that one in the front. Look at how much he's enameled. Oh my goodness, look at the detail on that bird. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Look at these colors in the background. Oh, look at that gorgeous blue, kind of aqua. Oh my goodness. So these will be going in our personal stash here. Oh. Oh my word, that is amazing. Oh my goodness, look at that bird. Oh my wow, please do it camera. Come on buddy. Listen, I'll take you to the park if you just behave yourself. Look at that amazing thing. Wow, can we get any glare off of him? Cause he's actually enameled too, wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness, is that not the most beautiful thing? Wow. Wow. Some more purple and yellow and pink and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a magnificent scene. Shoo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep going, huh? Wow. 
Oh my word. Oh my word. What wonderful things. Look at how heavily they're enameled. Wow. And you know, don't forget the flowers are also enameled. You can see the glare. When the glare hits them, you can see how raised they are and stuff. And it's just so cool. It's such a it's such a neat addition. In European countries, you know, European ceramicists, they would they would enamel pieces as well. So I mean, I don't want you to think Japan's the only place you can get something that's enameled, but but they did do it pretty well. And wow, these plates, I'm so impressed with. It looks like we've got two left. Two more pieces to talk about. Let me check which one we want to talk about first. Okay, okay. I'm going to set that one right there. It's slightly bigger. I think it's the biggest piece. Look at that. Oh my goodness, gravy. And you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to sell these things to you. I don't, I will literally not sell these things to you. So don't think that I'm like churching my reaction up so that you like come and buy things. I, I don't need you. I don't need you to appreciate this. <laughs> I would just as happily do this on my own, but I really do like sharing with you guys. And look at that. Do you see how his, uh, his wing feathers and his... His throat and stuff are all enameled. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Such a beautiful painting. At least 100 years old. More like 120, I would assume. And yeah, just his little bird buddies up in the background here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pinks, purples, greens, yellows. Oh, wow. Wow. Just treasure. All right. I do admit I probably saved the best for last. Wait until you see this. Oh. My. Goodness. Japan was not afraid to use all sorts of colors that seem to have been prohibited from the Western world. I mean, the purples and pinks and just excellent things. And they, and you know, like, it wasn't wasn't restricted by uh, gender or anything, you know, beautiful's beautiful, color's color, and we'll use whatever beautiful colors we want, and goodness gravy, the things they did. I mean, again, you know, if you like birds and flowers, <laughs> if birds and flowers aren't your thing, then, well, well, you know, I don't know what to say to that. It, it weirds me out, you know, like, how could you not appreciate birds and flowers? They're beautiful. They're little works of art by nature. There's no reason as an art collector you can't go out and enjoy a flower just as much as you do a plate or a vase or, you know, what have you. That being said, that's a pretty tremendous plate. So, gosh, I just don't know. The plates, the tile, the, the seven fortunes. So yeah, this is Austin unboxing a uh, box of um, Kutani ceramics, probably probably a hundred years old on at least all of them. Um, and yeah, I got a screaming good deal from a good good friend, and I obviously can't give her fifty four dollars for all this. So so I'll have to come up with something. But yeah, um, this is Austin. I love everyone. Sue, I love you. Uh, thank you so much every time. I mean, you've just been tremendous, and I appreciate you so much. And yeah, this is Austin, Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Hopefully always opening some sort of new treasure and showing you guys something fantastic from the past.